So we are just using this uh, just raw short crust sheet to make the conflict tart. So we're putting this in the oven, aren't we? Yeah. For 25 minutes. 20 minutes. And then we're gonna put the jam in the pan and what are we doing? We don't know what we're doing. Well, you tell them what we're doing. What are we doing, Matthew? I'm gonna do what the recipe tells me. <laughs> oh God, we're making a tart of some kind. <laughs> Welcome to Weekly Vlog 27. So, um, please ignore the absolute state of me, but I am just in the house today. It is Wednesday, so you're probably sick of hearing this, but I didn't record on Monday because I was editing the Weekly Vlog all day. Um, the really annoying thing is as well is that I got up at like 10 past 6 on Monday and I was like, I'm going to get this Weekly uh, Vlog done. Did I say Weekly Haul? Weekly Vlog. I'm going to get this Weekly Vlog like edited and then I can spend the rest of the Monday actually doing things and speaking to you guys and actually recording. On Monday I got up at 10 past 6 and I didn't get the weekly vlog up until 10 to 8 in the evening. Honestly, that's how long it took to do the weekly vlog. So I don't know why it's taking me so long. I have a new computer, a new system. I don't know if it's me like trying to be a little bit more I don't know, technical when editing with music and just making it a bit, I don't know. I don't know why it's taking me so long. But I didn't manage to get the Disney haul done until yesterday. So um, I do get like emailing and like boring stuff done in between like editing and stuff. But obviously it's just on the computer, stuff that's boring for you guys. So yesterday, Tuesday, I did record a little bit. But I was just at the, um, sorry I'm just at the computer right now and things are popping up. Um, I was at the computer like all day because I got the Disney haul up. So I got the Disney haul up, I got some more emailing done, I got a lot done actually yesterday on the computer. So the Disney haul and giveaway is up and um, by the time this weekly vlog goes up the competition will still be running so there's a giveaway on that video. Um, I forgot to mention in the video that you have to be 16 or over to enter um, or have an adult's permission and it is open internationally. I did put it in the drop box below so hopefully if anybody is wondering that then they'll have a look in the drop box. So on Monday night after doing the weekly vlog, all I did, because it didn't go up till 10 to 8, was me and Matthew had dinner um, and we watched Death Note, which I bought at the weekend if you'll have watched last week's weekly vlog. Um, we just didn't get a chance to watch it before then. So I love that movie. Matthew finally got to see it as well. I don't know if he likes it as much as me, but still, I, I loved it. I haven't seen it in so long. Um, I really want to see two and three now. So then last night after we after I'd done the Disney haul um, and some email and stuff, that I didn't get done till like seven. Admittedly, me and Matthew had a bit of a lie in yesterday, so I wasn't doing that all like from in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, like the weekly vlog. But I still didn't get it done till late, so Matthew's off on a Tuesday, so he uh, made dinner and stuff so I could get on with things. And then last night we made a cornflake tart, which I kind of recorded because I really want to record more. Um, even like, I think my problem is, is that I don't like recording if I haven't said hi to you, but I need to like, I don't know, I'm, I'll try and do it more because it's like, it's supposed to be a weekly vlog and then I'm not starting the weekly vlog for a couple of days. So today's Wednesday, um, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning, I have... A bit of a bad stomach in the sense that it's hurting as in I'm stressed <laughs> so stress does not do me any favors like I'm stressed about a couple of like adult things at the minute which I don't want to go into but if things progress in that situation then it will become evident in a few weeks and then I will be telling you why I'm a bit stressed otherwise just bear with me for a little while while I get myself sorted so I'm okay I'm just a bit stressed and I feel a bit M.E.E. -E today is the only way I can explain it like my M.E. feels a bit funny stress affects my M.E. really bad so I don't feel great today um yeah I was up at four o'clock and then I kind of got back to sleep for a little bit and woke up about half eight and I don't know I don't really feel good but I've just been like chilling downstairs with the rabbit like lying on the floor with him uh, with a blanket over me feeling sorry for myself um, it's weird because it's like I know I have loads to do but I kind of feel like I should take a day for myself if that makes sense. Um, I was supposed to be looking after my little brother today so I actually cancelled my hospital appointment. Well I, I rearranged my hospital appointment but now I'm not looking after my little brother. I've got him on Friday. I should kind of record things today and get them edited tomorrow. And then I can just spend Friday with my little brother because I can't get anything done with my little brother. 
but I can't record things because my hair is an absolute stay. Under the lights when I film, it looks even more faded because they're very bright. So I can't dye my hair until Matthew does my roots and Matthew's at work. So I'm not going to record today, also because I don't feel good. I can already feel myself getting stressed, like Sarah, record, you should be recording. But um, it's not that I don't like recording, it's just I don't feel good and I feel like I've got a lot on my mind at the minute. Do the Primark blog post today, like chill downstairs, do it on the laptop and just kind of chill with the rabbit for a bit and get that blog post done. How cool is my background by the way? That's not my picture unfortunately, but isn't it cool? So uh, yeah, apparently you can change this so that there's different settings with the lights and you can make them brighter and stuff. But I can't figure out how to do it and it doesn't come with instructions. So, but anyway, how cool is that? So that came this morning, I'm so chuffed. I can finally edit without disconnecting all the time. So I've just closed the blinds so hopefully you can see it a little bit better. So it's kind of like, a, it's so much more green in real life when I'm looking now, this is crazy. So it's like a really bright green. Then it goes to like orange, again this is not coming up on camera. Uh, it goes to orange, then red, then pink. Then it's like a purple, a purpley violet and then blue. It just looks white, it's crazy. Why are you not coming up on camera? You can kind of see it, I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, how cool is that? So, I just think it's really funky. Um, yeah, I just really wanted it. Oh my god, I look so messy today. I just don't feel very good. I need my roots to do. <laughs> Never mind, right. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do today. I think I'm going to sit downstairs with the rabbit for like another half an hour and just chill. It's 25 past 10 now. And then um, I'm going to try ringing my sister again in a bit and see if she actually wants to meet up. If not, I'm going to get that blog post done and then I'll see how the day goes. I can't remember if I told you, but I ordered a valance for the bed um, last week and that's just arrived as well. It came at the same time as the keyboard. Uh, so I kind of want to put the valance on, but it's a double bed and you need to lift up the mattress. So I could get it done, but Lord, it would be tiring. So I might get that done in a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go and chill with the rabbit for a bit. I'm watching YouTube, got me a cup of tea and I'll get back to you guys in a bit. So my sister still hasn't gotten back to us. So I've decided I am literally just going to stay in the house and do things like that I want to do that I never have time to do, like organising and stuff like that. So... This balance came this morning. So the problem with my bed is that it has posts. So this won't just like drape down. Um, I ordered a specific shape so that I can cut it to fit the post in, but you shouldn't be able to see. So I'm going to put it on, which is going to be hard because it's a double bed. And so I've got to lift up the mattress on my own. And then I'll start cutting it and show you what I mean. annoyingly cut out it filled up its memory card as I was doing it but nevertheless I managed to get it done so this is what it looks like I'm really happy with it it looks so much better I don't know why I didn't do this oh my god years ago because when you come up the stairs like your eye level with this it's the first thing you see and it's full of my clothes so that just looks so much better already. It is really creased though. I'm going to let it drop for a couple of days and if it doesn't make much difference then I'm going to like wash it and put it back in. And I might even like sewing machine down the edges where I've cut which I'll show you in a second. So yeah, I probably should have just washed it straight away but I needed to make sure that it was going to be okay because I needed to cut it for like the post. Um, so yeah. I'm really happy with it. It's a really good colour as well. It goes like with the bed very well. It goes like with the colour scheme I'm going for. I still have really need to change the pictures up there though. They just don't go anymore. I think I'm going to spray paint this pink. I need to get new curtains. And I've got some decorations coming for the top of the bed frame. And like I said last week, I'm going to be painting the bed, but not for a couple of months. So I'll show you what I did with this. So if you don't have like bed posts, if it's just like um, a mattress on top of like, um, do they call them divans or... Is that a type of them? Well, anyway, like a mattress on top of like a bed frame kind of thing, but without the posts, then this is fine. It's just like a continuous thing and it'll just go round. But if you have a post like me, then obviously this gets in the way, so it can't like go down. So you need to cut it. So I cut it. And um, basically, I wanted to show you how I did it, but the type of um, 
the type of vans that I ordered didn't actually come. So the type that I ordered had like folds in it, like here and like here, and kind of folded back on itself, then came across and then back on itself and onto here. And I was gonna cut on one of the underneath folds and then it just would have looked like it wasn't cut at all. But then they just sent me this one anyway, which didn't have any shape to it, it just literally went round. So it was literally a case of picking the corner of the valance and cutting down in a straight line and then and then it fits over the frame like that and then you just kind of i'm gonna like sewing machine it when i get a chance or like put a button on it or something but it's quite neat i think it's quite tidy so i'm really happy with that and if you are going to do this make sure you do it with like proper scissors so i have like proper fabric scissors dressmaking scissors and um, i always put them back in the packet to keep them sharp um, and so that Matthew doesn't accidentally pick them up and use them for cutting paper because that ruins them. These are proper fabric uh, scissors. They are really good at cutting fabric and it's nice and neat and it means the fabric won't fray because we don't want this looking messy. So I am chuffed with that. It is creased to pot though. Um, I would have liked it a little bit longer. I've pulled it down on this side quite a bit more than the other side because this is the side you see and I needed to hide stuff. So on Matthew's side it's about this much shorter so it's still quite long but um and nobody sees that side really um this side you literally see coming up the stairs so i needed to be longer but yeah i'm really happy with it so yay look at my bed it's it's taking shape into magical pastel princessness <laughs> so i look absolutely horrific <laughs> basically it's quite a few hours later um i've come into the bedroom now i said i am not going to sit at the computer all day to day and that's exactly what i did so um yeah, I finished putting the balance on. I think I had lunch. I can't remember the last time I spoke to you was. And then I went into the other room and started doing the blog post from our, uh, when I went down to London for the Primark Christmas home event. And um, I really enjoyed it because I love Primark stuff. I love that I love that press day. Like, I love that I got invited down to Primark's press day. So it was really nice to write about the press day. Um, and that blog post went up at six o'clock tonight. So when you watch this, it's up. So if you want to see Primark's Christmas home stuff, which includes Harry Potter and Disney, it's up on my blog, which is sarahlouiseporter.com. So that's up. Then the lovely Anna from Primark emailed me and said that, um, well, actually she sent me the pictures for the whole of the Harry Potter range that's coming out next week so you might remember if you've been watching me a while that i said that primark was bringing out a big um harry potter range well they are <laughs> i've got confirmation it's big oh it's nice um i will show you all it in this vlog tomorrow on the computer we'll go through it but when you watch this there's already a blog post on my blog gone up so i've written it that's why I was at the computer all day doing these two blog posts for Primark. I've scheduled it for Friday at 6 o'clock. So this Friday for me, last Friday for you guys. So two Primark really cool previews of stuff coming on my blog. The last two posts. I am so grateful right now. Thank you Primark. So I'm in a much better mood now. I still feel a little bit sick with regards to my Amy. Like my throat's funny and I just don't feel great. But mentally I do feel a lot better. I just wasn't in a great mood this morning. I think I explained my Amy's acting up. I'm just a bit stressed. If I didn't, then I didn't feel good. No, I think I did explain. So I did that all, all afternoon after I spoke to you guys. That's all I did. I kind of had um, um, a movie on in the background, Batman the Dark Knight, because the Joker in that, Heath Ledger, I think. Um, I'm terrible with names, but he's amazing. So I went downstairs and did my usual tidying up downstairs that I do every day to keep on top of it. Um, so just dishes and stuff like that. It's amazing how fast the dishes mount up if you don't do that every day. So I run the hoover around. The rabbit's molten right now, so I need to hoover every day. And then tomorrow I will be sat at the computer all day again, again. All day again, again, all day again. Yeah, because on Friday I can't edit the Disneyland Paris vlog because my little brother's coming over. So I'm going to edit it tomorrow. So I'm going out, I think, with my little brother on Friday. And hopefully Matthew and me will do something fun on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm just going to go downstairs now and hopefully the takeaway will be here soon. And we're going to watch a movie and chill out. So if I don't get back to yours, then it's just because we're doing that. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Otherwise, I might show you some clips if we do anything this evening. Look at this naughty baby. Cleaning himself next to Sally. Who has no legs because they were made of straw and he ate them. <laughs> well, she has legs, but she has no, like, feet. Like the rest of our legs, he ate them. He's been playing under the bed all day because he's obsessed with the new valance. Because it's kind of like a little hidey hole for him. Which is better than him playing in the sofa, which he's been obsessed with lately. If you watched my live feed last week, you'll know that. 
So he's just playing in the garden this evening, bless him, getting his daily intake of greens. I love it in the summer when I can let him outside and he just eats loads of grass. In the winter I have to make him eat loads of hay. Because obviously if you don't know, rabbits have to eat a lot of hay. It's the main thing in the diet. People think it's nuggets or veg, but it's not, it's hay. So during the summer I don't have to worry because he eats loads of grass. Isn't he naughty? No, he's not naughty, he's just cute. Good morning, Mr. Burn. Breakfast time. I've got this. And your favourite. Ah. You're welcome. I've just gone out of the bath. I've got the patio doors open. It looks so sunny and nice out there. And I'm just chilling on the bed for a little bit with some peanut butter and apple. I absolutely love this as a snack. And I'm watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I had it on in the bath, so I was in the bath 40 minutes. <laughs> well, probably a bit longer because I paused it while I washed my hair. But yeah, I'm just um, gonna chill out for maybe like 20, 30 minutes because I'm pretty pooped. Been at the computer all day. Got my Disneyland Paris vlog edited. Got um, some emailing done. Got some really cool emails came through actually. Um, and then I cleaned my bathroom head to toe and then I had a bath. So it's now quarter to six and I'm just going to chill for a bit. Then I'm going to head downstairs and tidy down there and make Matthew's dinner. I can't remember when the last time was that I spoke to you. Um, but I'm not feeling great. I'm a bit... I'm not in a good mood. I've had some bad news this afternoon. I'm not in as bad mood as I was earlier, but um, and then I decided to go into the garage and get my my little ponies out from when I was younger and start cleaning them, just to try and make myself feel better. Um, yeah, um, I don't really want to talk about what happened, but I'm sure you guys can appreciate. So don't worry, it's nothing to like really badly worry about or anything, and it's just one of those things. I don't know, but I'm not as bad as I was, so. I went and got my My Little Ponies out the garage and I'm just um, sat cleaning them and I've just been doing some blog posts. Like I've actually gotten quite a lot done today. Like I said, I got a vlog done, emails. Um, I completely cleaned my bathroom. I've tidied downstairs. Uh, I've got some blog um, Instagram photos done, even not blog posts. Um, yeah, I've got quite a lot done considering. Um, I was supposed to go on my nails and get my hair dyed, but she hasn't gotten back to us and I know she was going out. So I need to do that at some point because my hair's so white now because I've just been washing it instead of like um soft washing it or whatever you want to call it gentle washing it so it's like stripping it but it's nice to do that for here every, every now and then so given these are clean these are vintage my little ponies i think this one's 1984 this one's 87 this one's 84 so these were mine and my sisters when i was younger we had a lot of my little ponies and um, that's a stack and box of probably a quarter of them um, unfortunately, my younger cousins, when I got older, have had a hold of them. Um, and my little brother, when he was little, he wasn't too fussed on them, but he would play with them when my little cousins came around. And they're all quite bashed up, which is a bit annoying. Because <laughs> me and my sisters really adored these and looked after them. And yeah, I'm a bit upset with how bad conditions some of them are actually in. I didn't realise. I'm not looking forward to telling my sister, bless her, she'll be upset about it. But um you know, they were just kids, my cousins, so I can't blame them. Um, they're actually older now themselves, even that was a while ago, they've been in the garage for a couple of years. So yeah, they're a bit dirty, a bit damaged, a bit bashed up, and the rest of them's missing. So I'm guessing my cousins took the rest of them home with them, which again is very annoying, because I know they're worth a lot, but it's not because of that, it's because they are very sentimental to me. Is that the word, sentimental? Yeah, so... um. Anyway, the ones that I have managed to find, I'm going to clean up and just chill in bed for a little bit till Matthew gets home. I don't think I'll be doing much else for the rest of the day. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you the Harry Potter thing, but I will show you it later, um, like during the week. My little brother's here, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, bright and early, so um, I've got some emailing to do tomorrow. I'll just let you know what I'm doing when I can, when I'm with my little brother tomorrow. 
um, and then I think I'm going out in the afternoon but I'm not sure and I'm also sorry that I'm not really on camera but my face is a mess because I've just had one of those days and my skin's bad and I'm not in a good mood <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna just chill for a while and play with my My Little Ponies and clean them up and I'll just get back to you guys tomorrow if that's okay good night guys hey guys it's the next day um look how badly faded my hair is it's so bad um also my skin's terrible but um it's thursday no friday um my little brother's over uh, he's been over since like seven o'clock this morning um i managed to keep him busy by giving him a load of boxes and he's made the rabbit like a castle fortress because he knows that i like disney bless him it's so cute i'll have to show you it but i'm just about to nip out because i have a package at the post office and i'm going to take my little brother to some like just pick him up with greg's or something um and then we're going to come back because i've got another package coming but it's dhl so if you miss it then it gets rearranged for another day which is really annoying so i can just see <laughs> i can just see us going out in the other package and coming when i'm out so i'll not take you with us because we're literally just nipping down like the little post office that's like near my house and the greg's that's like not too far from it and they're coming straight back but i will at some point show you what he's built because it's really cute and i'm just going to spend some time with my brother so i'll get back to you guys in a bit hey guys it's a couple of hours later oh i've got a spot here and it looks like i've been punched i promise i haven't it's just my ridiculous skin my brother has just gone home and um, it's quarter to three i normally have him all day but today i only had him well till now because uh, my mum finished a bit earlier today there's a massive smudge on the camera i can't see it on the screen and i've tried to wipe it off and i can't get it off so hopefully that isn't actually showing in the recording like when you're watching so i kind of have the rest of the day to do things but i wasn't sure how long he'd been here so it's been a couple hours since i last spoke to you like we went down the post office got my package i was expecting the package coming and thank goodness it didn't come while we we're out but i can't go out anywhere until it's been because it's important it's from like a company that i'm working with and i'm looking forward to getting it so i'm waiting for a package to come so i can't really go out I put a movie on earlier that I know my brother will sit and watch while I did some emailing. Um, I did my Disneyland Paris vlog. I don't even know how much I spoke to you yesterday. I wasn't in the best mood. Um, but I did my Disneyland Paris vlog yesterday so that it was ready to go up tonight. And I did my blog posts on Wednesday so that they went up the other day and one goes up tonight. So I, I cleared my day apart from like a couple of emails I had to do today. Um, just so I could spend the day with my brother. So I put Wally on because he sits and watches that like he zonks. So I put that on and I came upstairs for about an hour, maybe a little bit longer, and I did some emails. So now that I've got all my emails done for the day, I mean, I could do more and I could write blog posts, I could record, I could do all sorts, but I kind of cleared my day. Um, and now it's only like coming up three o'clock. I can't record any videos until um, I dye my hair. Oh, cool thing happened though. So yesterday was actually my three year blog anniversary. I remember I didn't really celebrate it last year. Um, the first year I, like, I had a party, I had a big one balloon and I really celebrated it. Um, last year I didn't really celebrate it because I'd had a year long placement and I hardly did much. Like for the first few months, um, it was like a full time job, which is hard for anyone, but for someone with ME, like I had to make it work. So I pretty much didn't blog for months. I, I didn't do a YouTube video for five months. Um, I hardly did my Instagram. It was like, it hurt to do, but that happened last year. So when my second year blog anniversary came out next, last year, I kind of, I, I decided not to really celebrate it because I'd had a good year. I'd worked with companies like Boohoo and stuff last year. I got down, invited to some more events last year with like In The Style and stuff like that. I met Lucy and Lydia, um, so, but just because I'd been busy and I think I did a little kind of two-year blog anniversary post, but didn't do much else. Um, and then yesterday was my three-year blog anniversary, and I remember saying next year I'll celebrate it big time because I'll be doing more on my blog. And in ways I have done more like on my like different things on my blog, and I have way more ideas that I want to do. And I've had a really cool post going up tonight, like with um, Primark, like all the Harry Potter previews. So so grateful to be given that and like i've had two primark blog posts go up from the events and stuff like that but i feel like the last year i've definitely concentrated more on my youtube i mean i started weekly vlogging your youtube anniversary or your youtube anniversary or, or your vlog anniversary or whatever you call it is like separate to your blog anniversary or at least it is for me because i started doing them at different times so at the weekend i probably will write a little blog anniversary and round up my blog and that sort of thing um, but 
I think I need to work, I was trying to work out last night when I started YouTube properly so we can celebrate like a vlogiversary. I don't know but um, yeah, so it was actually my three year vlogiversary yesterday. My YouTube's a bit of a funny one though because the year I got my YouTube account, I didn't, I didn't YouTube, I just got an account to sign up to other YouTubes. Then for almost two years, I didn't do anything other than watch videos. Then I did a video three videos but two of them have been deleted now because I hated them I didn't realize you could set them to private I wish I'd done that so I deleted the first video I ever made and the third one so I deleted the first and third video I ever made so there's only the second video I ever made up there which is like my hair bun tutorial um it's in the other room the quality's bad it was on my phone oh god it's so bad um and then I remember after I did them I did them more like fashion and beauty and I knew that like I like fashion and beauty but I feel more confident in no sorry I did I did like hair tutorials and beauty tutorials like makeup so I knew that I enjoyed doing them this is the thing I was trying to like do hair that oh I can't even explain it but basically I did makeup tutorials and stuff that like aren't really what I am now I think I was talking about this a little bit last week but I still enjoyed the makeup I was wearing and I was a little bit more like that at the time because I was really getting into like mainstream fashion and blogging and stuff um so more like new tones like the Kardashian style and all that sort of thing even though deep down I've always been more like the way I am now if not crazier so like I deleted them I didn't like them I didn't do anything for about a year and then I started doing my blog and then a few months after starting my blog, I started my YouTube and it was mainly fashion. It was Primark hauls and fashion hauls and lookbooks because that's what I started as when I was a blogger. Um, and then I, I carried it into YouTube because I liked watching Primark hauls and fashion hauls. And then I did my year long placement and I didn't do, I tried to keep up with it as best as I could. I did a couple of uploads every now and then. And then I had five months where I didn't do anything. And that was last summer. Then last August was when I started to feel better after my placement. I had a bit of a break. And then over the summer before starting uni again. And then I really let my do let my, I really let my love for Disney come out. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do a Disney haul. I remember I used to search for Disney hauls on YouTube and they didn't exist unless they were Disneyland Paris or Disney World or Disneyland California or Disney just like Disney park halls but there was no Disney halls like Primark, Poundland, that sort of thing, Disney store there was nothing and um, so I was like well I buy stuff every month I'm gonna put it in a video and see if see you know how it goes and then that was where my kind of channel started to grow that was when my Disney obsession got way bigger because you guys fueled it because I was fueling you, you were fueling me, we were all getting Disney obsessed and then I mean I've always loved it but the more I knew people accepted it the more I put it out there if that makes sense so I started like filling my shelves up with my stuff instead of just shoes because people wanted to see it and it was nice because it's like well I want to put it there like I want to show it like I want to show my stuff off so yeah that was how did we get on this conversation but anyway that was how my youtube started to grow basically last year when i started putting up my disney stuff last august so it's been a year since i was kind of a disney blogger and vlogger but it's been technically three years since i uploaded my first youtube video but i wasn't even a blogger then and i didn't do anything for a year after uploading those first three videos within a week or so of each other so from being a blogger it's been two years and from being a a proper vlogger it's been like a year and a half so I really don't know when to call my vlogiversary but the point of this was is that my vlogiversary was yesterday and then this morning we reached no yesterday we reached 8,000 on YouTube subscribers which is just crazy like the fact that anyone has ever subscribed is just like I mean I always just kept uploading videos anyway because I like doing it like I liked my fashion hauls like I liked going to Primark I liked then I liked Disney so I put that out there and then it's just like more and more people start to watch me and it's just crazy it's like I'm glad that I can be more and more myself and it gets a better and better response and we're all just growing into a bigger family and it's just amazing to see so 
that's amazing thank you so much and then today we reached 13,000 on Instagram which is crazy 13,000 like we're in the teens we are in the teens like that's crazy so that happened so I wasn't in the best of moods yesterday just some bad news on the afternoon I'm sorry about that and then today yeah so it's just I'm feeling a little bit better today like Matthew was so great like he came in from work and he was like don't worry about things like don't stress like you know like it's just and he's like just keep doing what you're doing and he's so supportive and it's like I love what I'm doing and yeah sometimes you doubt yourself sometimes at the end of the day you know you've got bills to pay should I be more conventional should I go out to work but I love being a YouTuber and Matthew is completely behind me. We've got to be realistic. So thank you for 13,000 on Instagram and thank you for 8,000 on YouTube this morning. Yesterday for YouTube and this morning for Instagram. It really just perked me up and it was exactly what I needed. And I'm in a much better mood today. So thank you. I feel like this vlog's been so boring. And I did promise I would show you the Harry Potter stuff. And do not worry, I will. Because Matthew's away all day on Sunday. So if I don't do it today, then I'll definitely do it on Sunday. So let me show you the little fortress that my brother just built the rabbit. So this is what my little brother has done to this corner of the room. I'm very aware that this corner needs something doing to it. Like we got the smaller sofa and then I need to get a bigger bookcase and put it there and move that over and we want to put the telly on the wall instead of that horrible painting. It's like we have a lot to do in here but honestly when my brother has something in his head and I have so much less energy than him I was like you know what build. I thought it would keep her busy for hours. This didn't even take him an hour. I cannot believe it. Like, he cut out all the boxes just with scissors. He kept going back to it every now and then. Um, <laughs> the rabbits had a quick look at it, but he's not very impressed. He will be soon though because it's cardboard. I think he's just a bit nervous because these have been in the garage, these boxes. So he needs to get used to the smell. So he will play with it later. Also, my brother's like quite loud and energetic. So the rabbit's like, what's going on? Because it's normally just me and him in the house. But basically, he knows I like Disney, my little brother. He's proper shown an interest, bless him. Like we watch all of my Disneyland vlogs together. When he comes over now, he's like, is the next one up? And we watched the other one and the other one's up tonight, bless him. So I said, we can watch it next week if he doesn't watch it already. But I will show you this little Disney fortress that he built the rabbit. So this is meant to be like a kind of entrance and it was meant to be a drawbridge but I'm not sure what happened and he's done like walls so it's like can you see how he's like cut it out like a fortress kind of castle thing and then if you so you come in here and this is like the tree in the courtyard <laughs> that's like the bedroom and um, that was like a wall for like a secret place and then I can't remember what that was Um, it's full of hay and then back there there's like a food thing maybe that was the the food eating place and then the outdoor secret garden and then in here was the gym because <laughs> the rabbit has a dumbbell and he honestly bless him so he did this this morning i managed to keep him busy without sticking him on the playstation and then we watched some movies together <laughs> so hey guys <laughs> it is the same day i promise it's the same day but uh yeah apparently we're actually going out now so i've just quickly put some clothes on and um, i feel like i look really swollen at the minute like i look really like not very well, my skin's bad, my hair needs dyed, like I just don't feel good. But anyway, I was lying in bed, pretty much falling asleep, is this even focused? And then Matthew was like, um, oh, let's go to Mera Centre tonight. And he was like, let's invite a couple of people. We'll go to the arcade, we'll see the, like a movie, we'll see the movie. We'll see a movie, you know, go to the cinema and just have a good time. And I was like, I am literally in bed falling asleep. But hey, let's be social. So I've just quickly shoved some clothes on. Um, what do you shove on when you want to be comfy? Because you were pretty much in bed a second ago. But you also want to look half decent. Well, we've gone for this. So I've got my misguided jacket on, which I've finally put these three little badges on that I got from Conic on. They're so cute. Um, I've just bought this the other day. Don't know if I showed you. It was in the Disney haul, it was in my last Disney haul a few days ago, so this I got in London actually. Uh, this misguided skirt which it kind of crumples and goes a little bit funny around here, but it is so comfortable. Like, I don't know, sometimes I feel like skirts are a bit like, especially if the tight can be a little bit unflattering and I am a little bit swollen, but it's comfy and meh. And then it is raining outside so I'm not sure why I have gone bare legged and I haven't shaved, go me. 
And then these socks, which are net ones that I've just bought from Primark the other day. But I don't know how much I'm liking them because you can't actually see that the net ones. And one of them just ripped like here when I put it on. And then just my plimsolls. I'm not actually sure if I'm just going to quickly swap my jacket for my miss. Uh, for my miss. For my My Little Pony one. So I'm going to try that. Otherwise, I'm going to make a scent tonight. I still need to put some lipstick on. But I was kind of like, if I'd known, I would have gone to, I would have like gone as soon as my little brother left and gone to Ikea because I need to get some things to hang up the rest of my ears. So I would have like got, I would have got ready, gotten to Ikea and done a couple of shops first. So I need to go to Primark. I need to go to, well, I would like to go to Primark. I would like to go to Claire's Accessories. There's a couple of things I want for my hair at the minute. He'll probably get there before me if I don't leave now. So I'm going to go. I'm going to take you with me and we're going to go to Mero Centre. That was unexpected and I am tired, but we're going to have fun.
finished at Metro Centre. My skin's an absolute mess and I'm really shiny. So that was fun though. Um, my sister met us for a bit. We had like a burrito. We went around a couple of shops. They had everything I wanted in Primark, literally everything, including the Harry Potter range that I've just done a blog post on, which I was told wasn't out until stores till next week. But Metro Centre, well done Metro Centre Primark, had a full Harry Potter range out. And I mean full, like the length of the shop. It was amazing. I think I tried to film it for you. Um, I got quite a lot of it. I'm going to do a Primark haul, like a Primark Harry Potter haul. The only thing I didn't get was the Slytherin hoodie because it wasn't there. And that's the only other thing that I'm really desperate for from the range, apart from a couple of like Slytherin pin like badges to put on like denim jackets and stuff. But I got a couple of things. I spent like way too much in Primark, but I finished off my gift cards that I had. Um, and then went into Disney store for a bit, wanted one of the World Disney World cups. It's the first time I've seen them up close. I know they've been out in stores for a while, but I haven't seen them. Um, didn't get one because they're quite pricey. Uh, trying to save for Disneyland. And what was the last thing? Oh, I went to Claire's, wanted everything. Um, if you watched my Instagram story today, I was after quite a lot of it. But I'm going to order exactly what I want online because it's free delivery into stores. Because some of the things weren't there that I wanted. It's buy three things, get three things free. So I hope it's that online as well. But anyway, I'm going to get going because I've got the key and Matthew's going to meet me back home in his car. So I'm going to get going and I'll speak to you guys when I get home. Look at that. <laughs> Don't worry, I haven't been punched and I haven't been crying. I forgot. I forgot I had mascara on. I'm unbelievably tired. And I was sat downstairs talking to Matthew. We've got in... 20 minutes ago and I was just really tired and I went like that and then like mo like quite a little bit like five minutes later I was like why is the black all over my hand and then I realized so it was because I rubbed my eye I'm going to bed now I'm very tired I'll speak to you guys in the morning good night <laughs> Look at the fluffy pigeons. You can't go out, Mr. Bun. It's raining. Ah, it's raining too much. So we've just come back from Asda. I don't think I've said hi today, actually. So hello. And um, it's raining really, really heavy. And we've just got in. And these pigeons are so... Like, it doesn't even look like it's raining, but these pigeons are so fluffy and wet right now. It's hilarious. It's now. Has it stopped now? Yeah. No, it's still raining. Just not as heavy as it was before. And we just, we came, we left the boon out while we went out. And he's just come down to say hello. You want to go outside? It's too wet. You naughty baby. Good morning everybody. So it's Sunday morning. These are the same two pigeons that were on the fence yesterday in the rain. And they're sleeping. It's so cute. Lord, look at the state of me. My skin from being stressed and not like in the best mood every now and then the last couple of weeks has just ruined my skin. Absolutely in my hair. Oh my god, I'm on the internet like this. Never mind. Um so it's Sunday. I don't think I spoke to this properly yesterday, but basically me and Matthew yesterday. Oh my god, I look horrific. <laughs> me and Matthew yesterday just um we hung out a little bit because he's away today all day. Um because it's his day off today and yesterday, so we hung out yesterday because he's away today, yeah. So he went about three, nearly four hours ago actually now. Um, I've just been doing nothing. Like, he went before he went out, we were up quite early and I wasn't like lethargic. Like, I was getting on with things, I tidied and things. And then as soon as he left, I was just like, Mwah. And just haven't done anything and there's a massive smudge on my camera and I hope it's not like affecting film. I'm going to my nana's to dye my hair because Matthew normally dyes my hair but I need it dyed like days ago. Like it's getting ridiculous. My roots are massive. My hair is faded. Like it's so bad. Um, I've been washing it to fade it more because I know I'm going to do my roots and it, it gives my hair a good like deep cleanse. So that's why it's worse faded. If I hadn't done that, it wouldn't be this faded. But um, I'm gonna go with my nana's because I need my hair dyed basically. And Matthew is like too busy at the minute to do it for a considerable amount of days. So I could wait, it's not a problem, but I can't wait. I have videos to record, I have stuff to do. I feel like the last few days, I could have had so many videos done if I just had my hair dyed. Like I'm not recording videos like this. Weekly vlogs are different, but I mean, look at it, it's just limping, blah. So, I'm gonna go to my nana's now. 
um, and go around for a couple of hours. It's 10 to 4, so I don't know how long I'll be there. Probably is a while, to be honest. Um, I don't know how much I'll record because it's my Nana's house, but the shops are shut in 10 minutes, so I won't be going to the shops or anything. So since Matthew went, I've just been sat around, like, trying to organise things for my business. I don't know if I mentioned it to you. I don't know when the last time I spoke to you probably was. Like, yesterday I didn't really talk much. Like, all we did was go to Asda, McDonald's, which I recorded, and the post office and then we were just back in the house so like there really wasn't much to record and then today while Matthew's been gone I've been kind of lounging around but at the same time trying to sort stuff out for my business that I'm trying to launch and a couple of other things and just things that I want to do and just trying to sort stuff out basically but um I've hit a bit of a snag with my, my business which is really annoying because it's setting me back like I don't even know how many weeks so I'll explain. Basically, my little business that I'm launching, I'm going to be selling like a lot of different things. Some are handmade, some aren't. I've got a lot of ideas, but the first things that I'm launching is jewellery. I showed one of the bracelets in a Disney haul back in May's Disney haul. I have a logo, which I use across all of my social media, and I was going to use that on the packaging. So I was trying to go for a bit more of a premium kind of brand and I was bringing out like packaging. I wasn't just going to like put it in bags or whatever, which is fine. Some companies put it in just bags and then, but they have like stickers of their logo and then like business cards and it's all lovely. It's just, I wanted to get like proper boxes with my logo on and pouches for the jewelry to go on and just make it a little bit more, um, like luxurious because it's like the jewellery if you see my basically if you don't know it's jewellery that I'm doing first that's what I'm launching first it's bracelets um if you don't if you haven't seen them check out the Disney haul I showed you the 25th Disneyland Paris inspired bracelet in that one and I wore that one when I was in Disneyland Paris as well I love it it's my favorite bracelet um so that is basically what I'm starting with but the problem is is that um I've got a lot of other ideas for there's something on my face. I've got a lot of ideas for other things that I'm going to be selling. Um, but I need to start with one thing and then add things as I go. Like I don't have the money to just put everything in the store. So the problem is, is that I use a logo across all of my social media that I designed, and that was supposed to go on the pouches that like the jewelry comes in and on the boxes that the pouches go into. But the way I've designed it, it does not go onto the packaging. It's like technical stuff. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work. So I'm back to square one. I thought my packaging was going to be here soon. Yeah, um, I'm back to square one. I literally need a brand new logo before I can even start, before I can even start getting the packaging made. Which is really annoying because pretty much all of the bracelets are ready to go. Not all of them and I still need to take pictures and things but... If the packaging was here, I could have this up tomorrow, that sort of thing. Like, I could just spend tomorrow doing it, well, after my weekly vlog. I could have it up in the next couple of days. And it's like, I can't do the other things that I want to do in the shop until I get the first things out. And yeah, it's just, it's getting a bit much. And to be honest, I thought it would be up and running by now. So, obviously, if I'm not selling, I'm not making money. So, at the minute, which really upset me, kind of realised it yesterday... I do not think that me and Matthew are going to go to Disneyland Paris for Halloween. Ugh. Oh, I don't want to cry about it, but... <sighs> you know, it's upsetting. So, me and Matthew didn't get to go to Disneyland Paris for Halloween last year either. Um, and we said that we were going to try our hardest to go this year because we didn't get to go last year but at the end of the day it costs money it is not cheap even when we go by coach it's still you know it's expensive and I like to buy merchandise while I'm there and like if somebody said that you can go for Halloween but you can't buy any merchandise okay as long as I get to go it upsets me that I can't go and if I did go then I wouldn't be able to do a merchandise haul because I just don't have the money right now to go to Disneyland Paris. Never mind buy a load of merchandise while I'm there. Not to mention that the soiree is extra money. It's not included in your part, like your ticket entry for the day. That's another 40 euros I want to say. I could be wrong. And I also want to dress up and there's a costume. So if I got to go, 
and I didn't buy any merchandise and I didn't dress up but I went to the soiree it's still too expensive so that's the reality of it I don't think I'm going to Disneyland Paris for Halloween this year so that sucks so hopefully me and Matthew will still get to go to Scarefest which we do every year we go to Alton Towers every year for Scarefest we have done for I don't even know how many years I want to say nine years every year we go to Scarefest um so hopefully we can do that hopefully we can do that we're trying to do like a two-day thing because even that is still way cheaper than Disneyland like I've looked into Disneyland extensively to try and get it cheaper and if you go to Halloween for Disneyland it is the most expensive season it's more expensive than New Year or Christmas so I don't think we're going to Disneyland for Halloween which is a bit upsetting but never mind so yeah I kind of realized that yesterday I think that's why I didn't speak too much on camera a bit upset you know I've just got a lot to deal with at the minute just like adult things like and then with my business like taking longer to launch it's just not I'm just a bit stressed at the minute you can see my skin is terrible like look at that like um I'm stressed I've just got a lot to do but I don't want my vlogs to be that kind of place where they're negative but I do want to keep you in the loop so that is what's happening but now we're going to be positive we're going to be positive because I'm going to I'm going to try my hardest to at least go to Scarefest which is Alton Towers and I'll vlog it. It's not Disneyland, but it's a two day thing and we do dress up and it will take my mind off me not being at Disneyland and at least it saves me a bit of money. So, and even if we don't go for two days, we'll, be, we'll definitely be going for one day at least. Um, and even if sometimes people drop out, me and Matthew will make sure that at least me and Matthew go for the day because there's no way I'm not going to Alton Towers or uh, Disneyland Paris but we do always manage to go to, go to Alton Towers like we've been every year for years so yeah I'm not gonna be we're gonna be positive people so Alton Towers at least and the business is getting sorted hopefully and I'm now gonna go and get my hair dyed at my nana's that'll make me feel better because I feel like a scruff at the minute and then I'll start getting some videos recorded this week I've got a really cool package coming tomorrow so yeah let's stop blabbing Let's be positive and let's go and get my hair dyed at my nana's. Me nana man sending us out for McDonald's and she wants two McFlurries because she wants to put one in the freezer for later. She hasn't even dyed me hair yet. Look at this. I look like I've got like... I look like I've been punched or something in my lip. My acne is so bad right now. So I don't think I recorded much at my nana's other than me going to get her a McDonald's, bless her. Um, she dyed my hair for me though. Look, no more roots so that feels nice. Um... I'm gonna have to do the pink tomorrow. I thought I would quickly, very quickly, go through the Harry Potter post for you because I've been saying that we'll do it and this is gonna be the end of the weekly vlog if I don't. So let's go through to my other room and get my computer up really quickly because it's quite late and we'll go through all the Harry Potter stuff that I posted that Primark is bringing out. Um, I'm sure I already explained, Primark's bringing out a Harry Potter range. Like I said, most of it's in stores. I showed you when I was in Metro Centre Primark. I picked up a few pieces. Uh, there'll be a haul coming soon. But if anyone can't get to stores or just wants to have a look, but doesn't want to read a blog post, then I'm just going to go through some of the stuff with you now. Okay, so I've tried to position you so that I don't have to hold the camera. But for anyone that hasn't been on my blog, my website, this is it. It's literally just sarahlouiseporter.com. But to be honest, if you type Sarah Louise Porter into Google, I'm quite lucky that everything just comes up, so my blog, my Instagram, my Twitter, my YouTube, it all comes up, so sarahleesporter.com and this is the last post that went up, obviously, so the Primark Harry Potter range from Primark, that made no sense, Primark's Harry Potter range, this is the whole range, uh, the previews, so I'm really excited, as you'll have seen, um, most of it's already out in stores, um, I didn't see the hoodies when I was in the other day um I really want the Slytherin one so bad what's weird about this picture actually is that the black one the black hoodie for Hufflepuff is like that made no sense the black hoodie is for Hufflepuff so you would think that there would be a yellow hoodie for Hufflepuff but it's actually black so if you're a Hufflepuff fan then you're going to be wearing a black hoodie instead of a yellow one but at the same time that's probably more wearable for a lot of people so I'm after the green one that was the only thing I couldn't get and the bunton when I was in the other day so I'll show you that in a second um so these are like the press photos that they managed to do they did these at the studios down in London down in London which is really cool 
so um yeah these are the pajamas for each house so Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff. I would like the Slytherin ones to be a little bit more green but that didn't stop me buying them I've still got them so yeah so I separated it all so there's just like a little intro here um, I hope you can see this okay. So I separated it into seven sections of merchandise. I like separated it myself, like had a look through it all. So the first ones is like Hogwarts uh, crest pieces. So things to do with like the Hogwarts crest, Hogwarts school, things that say Hogwarts on them. Then I did like miscellaneous stuff. So like just general Harry Potter stuff that didn't say Hogwarts on it or have the crest on it. Then I did the houses, so I did Gryffindor, then Slytherin, then Hufflepuff, then Ravenclaw, and then the last range is like a little baby range. So this is all the Gryffindor, sorry, this is all the, so this is all the Hogwarts stuff. Um, I really like these stripy pyjama bottoms actually, they're really cool. Out of this Hogwarts stuff, I'm after this dressing gown. It's a luxury, like, it looks like crushed velvet dark blue, it looks really nice, so I'm after that. And I would quite like this hold all. But maybe for Matthew, I know that sounds weird, but I just think that would suit Matthew. So I do like that. Um, that wasn't there when I was in the shops the other day, which was weird. Um, there was also a purse. I did realise actually that once I got there that there was a few things in the shops that I don't actually have pictures for. So I got the purse version of this, but I don't have a picture for that. Um, so there is actually more than what's on here. But to be honest, like 98% of what's on here was in stores. So I do, I have like previewed as much as I can. Um, I'm after this button and I've got those coasters. So yeah, I got that cup as well. So then miscellaneous stuff. So just this top says, don't let the muggles get you down. Uh, those leggings look really cool. Marauder's map. Just some really cool things. Shoes, watches, you name it, they've got it. So there's quite a lot. Then I separated it into Gryffindor. Gryffindor definitely has the most. All of the houses do have stuff. So don't worry if you're not Gryffindor or Slytherin, which normally get the most. Um, but Gryffindor does have the most so if you are in Gryffindor you're in luck so there's quite a few things in Gryffindor there um, there's a robe I think it is just a kiddies dressy up one but still it's pretty cool I really like this bag it is only in Gryffindor though I would like it in Slytherin um, I got all of these I got one for each house I'm gonna make them into something in a DIY video um, I didn't see them actually the Slytherin badges they're the Gryffindor ones I want the Slytherin badges so then you go on to Slytherin um, so I got these jammies, this is the hoodie I'm after, um, yeah, so that's all the Slytherin, I like that the Slytherin's silver as well. Then we got a Hufflepuff, pretty cool, uh, Ravenclaw, there's some Ravenclaw stuff there, um, and then the baby range, and then I've put all my thoughts on it, so make sure you scroll all the way down. And yeah, so make sure you go and check that out if you're interested in the new Harry Potter range, it's, uh, sarahlouisepotter.com. Oh, so I've come back through into this room, cause, um knackered and I'm going to bed. Um, it's quite late, it's like, it's coming up 12 o'clock now, probably later actually, because the last time I looked at the clock was before we went into the other room, so it's probably like after 12 now. So that was the end of this weekly vlog, I apologise if it was boring this week, I have been in the house a lot recently, I realised I used to go out more when I was at uni, but now that I'm not at uni, I am in the house a lot more. Um, I also want to apologise for being a bit depressive earlier. I'm in a bit of a I'm in a bit of a better mood now. I seen my nana for a bit in our dogs and we watched Harry Potter. Um she dyed my hair, which is always nice. It always feels so much better when your hair's like freshly dyed. It's so blonde, it's unreal. Like I need to get the pink back in. Um and you know, we reached some really cool milestones this week. I just need to be a little bit more positive, so I know I'm not supposed to apologise, but I have been pretty just in the house this week and probably not in the best mood some days but that is life and that is just how it goes but I'm going to be really positive and this week coming I am going to get so much done I am going to get so many videos recorded and I'm going to get my hair dyed pink I've got a really cool package coming tomorrow I'm going to get this weekly vlog done in the morning it will not beat me it will not take up my full Monday we shall see um but yeah, let's, uh, let's be positive, guys. Let's end this on a really positive note and look forward to all the cool things. So I've got lots to do. I'm going to be really productive this week. And right now I'm going to go to bed. So thank you for watching this weekly vlog. If you watched it this far, it's probably been crabby. But never mind. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. Like just watching my videos, like liking and commenting. Like I can't believe the amount of views that my videos get. Like honestly... I put that Disney haul up on Tuesday, was it? And it got like a thousand views in like 
not even an hour I want to say like it was crazy so my channel's just really grown at the minute and I really appreciate everyone subscribing and the messages I get every day especially on Instagram are just like you guys are so lovely it's like so lovely like even Matthew likes to read through my comments on my YouTube videos because he says you guys are just amazing and you are and I really appreciate it so thank you so much for all the support guys and yeah it's really nice to just know that people support me and people are watching and yeah it's just really nice i was reading through some of the comments actually when my nana was dying my hair and reading them to her and it really cheered me up so thanks guys i really needed that um i'm just in a bit of a, a funny one or at least i was earlier just because you know it's a bit upsetting knowing that i'm not going to go to disneyland but you know i'm sure i'll get to go again hopefully get to go next year for halloween and i'm still going to be celebrating halloween so let's just all be positive and that's the end of this video so i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>